Hello my book loving friends and welcome back to Storytime with Mary. This is where we get to read all of our favourite books and if you're still loving reading along with Mary don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our videos so that we can read together all the time. Okay book lovers I've got a bit of a chilly tale for you today. Today we're going to be reading a book called The Naughty penguin this book is written by Emma Lee so if you've got the naughty penguin at home grab it now and let's read it together and in this book the naughty penguin befriends a polar bear but I want to tell you a fun fact about penguins and polar bears so book lovers did you know that in real life in the wild you will never see a penguin and a polar bear together really do you know why that is I'll tell you that's because polar bears live all the way in the northern hemisphere in the Arctic and penguins are only really found in the southern hemisphere. They can be found in quite a few places. So they can be found in the Antarctic, which is opposite to the Arctic, isn't it? So that's all the way at the bottom. The Arctic is all the way at the top. But they can also be found in other places like the Galapagos Islands and lots of other places, but only in the southern hemisphere. And that's why you will never see a polar bear and a penguin together in the wild. But they're best of friends in our book. Shall we get cracking and see what they get up to in The Naughty Penguin? One morning, a mother penguin and her seven little penguins were walking near the North Pole. They were walking near the North Pole. They were going to visit their grandmother on the other side of the glacier. The mother said, stay in line so you don't get lost. The last little penguin was named Paul. He saw a polar bear. Paul wanted to get closer to the polar bear and have some fun. Oh, naughty Paul. He left the penguins and poked the polar bear's nose with the tip of his wing. Suddenly, the polar bear sneezed, ah, chew! He woke up and was not happy. He knew that the little penguin had poked him with the tip of his wing. The bear started to chase Paul, but Paul was too fast. He escaped. Paul kept running and then he stopped. He saw a group of snow bunnies playing in the snow. They were having fun. So Paul jumped right into the middle of the bunnies. This scared the snow bunnies and they all ran away. Now Paul saw his mother and his six brothers and sisters in the distance. He started to go towards them as they walked across the glacier. But suddenly, he fell into a crack in the glacier. Help! Help! cried Paul. Just then, the mother penguin stopped. She looked back at her little penguin and counted. One, two three, four, five, six. Where's Paul? His mother was very upset. They all looked for Paul, but couldn't find him. They were still looking for Paul when the polar bear and one of the snow bunnies walked by. The mother asked the bear and the bunny to help them look for Paul, but they said no. He is a naughty little penguin. The mother penguin was so upset that she started to cry. Please help me find Paul, she asked. Now, the polar bear and the snow bunny wanted to help. They saw how much the mother loved her last little penguin. Now, everyone was looking for Paul. The snow bunny heard a cry. I found him, shouted the bunny. The bunny asked the polar bear to help. They pulled Paul from the crack in the glacier. He was safe. The mother told Paul that he must learn to be a good penguin and not hurt anyone. 
you must apologize to the bear and the bunny, she said. I'm sorry, said Paul. I will be good and help other animals. The polar bear and the snow bunny knew that Paul was telling the truth. Now, Paul was going to be a helpful penguin. The bear and the bunny wished all the penguins a safe trip. Then they all said goodbye. Did you like that book? And did you spot where the penguins were? Do you remember? The penguins were in the North Pole. Oh, what were they doing there? Had they got lost? Because we just learned the penguins actually live in the South Pole. So these penguins were probably just on a trip visiting their grandmother in the North Pole. And that's how Paul was able to stumble across the polar bear. Because we learned, didn't we, that polar bears and penguins don't really mix in the wild, do they? But Paul found a polar bear for a friend in this book, didn't he? And it was awesome. I really hope you enjoyed that book as much as I did. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our videos so that we can read together again next time. Okay, book lovers, I'll see you again next time. Bye.